What's going on, Aces? Welcome back to the channel. It is Throwback Thursday. I hope that all of you are having a wonderful Thursday wherever you are. This Throwback Thursday is dedicated to the Westerns. So if you were anything like me, your grandparents love the old school Westerns. And I wanted to focus on, you know, movies that highlighted the Black Cowboys that didn't have their stories told as often as they should. Okay, thank you, Unique Denise, for the inspiration and her granny. Let's go ahead and get into this movie, y'all. So The Heart of They Fall is directed by the talented James Samuel, and it features an all-star ensemble cast that includes Idris Elba, Regina King, Jonathan Majors, and Zazie Beetz, among others. It's a Netflix original film that combines the elements of classic Westerns with a fresh modern twist. So it's set in the late 1800s and the heart of they fall revolves around the story of outlaw Nat Love played by Jonathan Majors. So when Nat discovers that his arch enemy Rufus Buck, who's played by Idris Elba, has been released from prison, okay? Here we have Regina King. She's getting ready to go get her man, okay? <laughs> Idris Elba <laughs> plays Rufus Buck. But when he was released from prison, he embarks on a mission to assemble a gang and seek revenge, okay? The plot thickens as the film delves into the intricate histories and rivalries between these two characters. So here we have Rufus Buck breaking out of prison after Regina King's character, you know, and that whole gang got him out. And the cast in this film is absolutely phenomenal. Jonathan Majors, you know, despite all the trouble that he's in, you know, the trial and everything going, um, as far as his acting ability, you can tell that he studied at Yale. He is an incredible actor, okay? And he delivers a powerful performance as Nat Love bringing a mix of determination, vulnerability, and a deep-rooted sense of justice to his character. And then Idris Elba, he plays Rufus Buck, and he just excludes, he excludes, um, exudes, <laughs> I'm tongue-tied today, he exudes charisma and intensity, making him a truly memorable antagonist, okay? He plays great villains. He's one of my favorite actors anyway, but when he plays a villain, he does it correctly. He does it justice. So the supporting cast members, they also shine in their respective role. Um, Regina King, her portrayal of Trudy Smith, who is a notorious outlaw, is a force to be reckoned with. Zazie Beetz, she brings a touch of complexity with the character stagecoach Mary. Now, she got a lot of flack for this because stage... <laughs> Zazie doesn't look anything like Stagecoach Mary, okay? So Stagecoach Mary was an iconic uh, character who was one of the fastest postal workers in the West. She always had a pistol with her, but she was a dark, she was a larger dark skinned woman. However, she was extremely strong. I think, I believe she was over six feet. She was like six one. And, um, you know, she could assemble the saddle of horses, she could assemble a stagecoach, she could assemble her gun quicker and faster, a team of horses than any other men. And that's why she got the job where she was delivering mail through rain, sleet, snow, everything child, okay? Um, but she did, during the end of her life, get, I believe she was the first black woman to receive a pension from, or her retirement essentially from the US Postal Service because she earned it, okay? And she was really well-respected. Her, her work ethic was phenomenal. She was really well-respected um, in the West. And so Zazie here, while I, I respect it because she's an actress, I really wish they could have you know, found uh, maybe like Danielle Brooks or somebody that was more, you know, that looked like Sage Coach Mary. But anyway, moving on. Okay, so... Um, each actor, though, they they truly elevates the film with their talent and their commitment to their role. So everybody's doing a great job here. Okay. Um, so one thing I love that sets the heart of They Fall apart from other action movies are, you know, the intense, like the gunfights, the high stake chases, the thrilling showdowns. That's what makes Western so addictive, I guess, to our grandparents and so fun to watch. You know what I mean? Like 
just the the thrill of you know the vibrato and in the themes of revenge, redemption, and the consequences of one's actions. I love it. And this one, of course, like I said, highlights black cowboys shedding light on a lesser known aspect of American history. And the film doesn't shy away from addressing the racial tensions and the impact that they had during this time period, which is so important. However, you know, the, the film also, it boasts a really compelling story. There are moments where, you know, the pacing feels a bit uneven, but overall, this was a, an amazing movie. I think that my favorite character throughout this film was Regina King's character, Trudy Smith. <laughs> she was bad. I mean, you know, she commanded which Regina King always does that, you know, she commanded that stage presence as soon as she came on the film. And it was incredible. I feel like Idris Elba, you know, he played Rufus Buck down. He was the perfect villain, as opposed to Jonathan Majors, who <laughs> is the protagonist in this film. Um, it's difficult, I guess, now looking back, but you have to separate the actor from, you know, the role. And he did a great job in this role, the heart of they fall was truly, and in that love in and of himself, you know, he was an infamous outlaw, right? And that was definitely based on a true story because Nat Love was truly one of the pioneers in the wild, wild west. And he did incredible things. He was on wanted posters, <laughs> but he also gave back to his community and helped build his community up. But he was definitely, he reminded me of like a black Jesse James, you know, or a black Robin Hood. Maybe, um, a, you know, if you merge those two together, then that would make up Nat Love. But I really wish the history would teach us more about the black cowboys and how they contributed to American history, American society, because they just wanted their, their piece of the pie, you know, and they were absolutely deserving of it especially after everything that, you know, Black folks in this country have been through, building this country up literally from our hands, right? I mean, Michelle Obama said it best when she was like, you know, me and Barack sleep in a house that was built by slaves. She's absolutely right. Even though the, the you know, the right wing were upset, they can, you know, stay mad about it because the truth is Black cowboys are pioneers. They help you know, construct the West. They made it what it was, you know, all the saloons and the cowboys and the, the shootouts and the, um, you know, the everything about the West, I think, is just new and exciting and adventurous. And I think that's what it is that is so captivating about not only this movie, but about Westerns in general, right? Where people are going into the unknown, you know, they were heading out west to, you know, take their stake and claim their land and start a family and, you know, just have an adventure because life is short. And so um, I think that all the actors did a great job in this movie. I think that, you know, I hope that they create more once the writer strike <laughs> and the actor strike um, is over. I hope that Hollywood can tell more of our stories. And yeah, I think that, you know, this is definitely a movie that I'm gonna have to watch again. So you guys let me know if you have seen it, your favorite parts, your favorite actor in it. Um, thank you again, Unique Denise and Granny and her granny for the inspiration for this Throwback Thursday. Please be sure to like the video. It's a free way to support the channel. If you're new here, welcome. And be sure to subscribe. I will talk with you later. Take care, aces. Bye.